So you can buy guards to protect this cylinder and these hydraulic lines uh, that bolt on with U-bolts. Uh, e and those are pretty readily available. And you can buy brackets that bolt on here, 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 here to put a uh, protective bar across the back so that these lines don't get hurt. And if you remember uh, from one of my previous videos, when I talked about one of the things that made me uh, desire this machine over some of the other ones was the fact that it had case drains, which is this line here and this line down here. Because on a lot of the cheaper mini excavators, those motors will build up pressure and it has nowhere to go. Well, these lines allow that extra pressure to bleed off and work its way back to the hydraulic tank uh, so that pressure is not pushing on the seals on the motors and causing them to prematurely leak. But as I've had this machine and I've gotten uh, to where I'm using it more and I've gotten kind of all flat ground and I've gotten into the woods a little bit where there's a lot of big roots and all, uh, a lot of things to drive over, I noticed something that I thought was a little more uh, it needed some protection than the other two areas that I just showed you. And that is this area here. If you can see those two case drains run up here and the lines that go to them are pretty small. They have about six inches up to this tubing maybe seven inches total to where the lines go. And my fear is that there's gonna be a broken root or a little stump or something. I'm gonna go over and high center on it and break those fittings off there and cause me a lot of headache. So what I wanna do is make a skid plate to cover this open area below it so that those lines are protected. Now, eventually I may make a guard for these lines back here and one for the, for the uh, blade uh, cylinder. Uh, but right now, the one that seems most pressing to me is one that will protect those lines under there where they are mostly exposed. So let's have a look at how I think we ought to do that. Okay, so what I did was buy a piece of plate steel, uh, bought a piece of, uh, it's 3 sixteenths of an inch uh, thick and the sheet uh, that I bought is um, 16 inches by 24 inches. And uh, from looking at some uh, general measurements, I think I'll just cut three inches off of it and have a sheet that is uh, 16 by 21. And uh, that should cover the, uh, the whole, the entire area, leaving a little space on the side for things to wash off and uh, I'll connect it. I bought some U-bolts. Uh, These U-bolts are M8 by 35 millimeters by 80 millimeters long, and uh, they fit the tubing uh, perfectly uh, under the machine. So I'll put uh, two on either end of it, and I think that'll be enough. Uh, that sheet of steel, was $34 on Amazon and $8 shipping, so 42 bucks. The U-bolts uh, were um, $8.99, including shipping. I also got some uh, eight millimeter uh, nylon insert lock washers that I may use instead of the nuts that came with it, we will see.
put my jack back here between the tracks with a thin piece of plywood on it to kind of make a ramp to run the skid plate up so I can manipulate it a little bit easier. I'm just gonna push it up from here. So I got it started on the front, leaving it really loose, and I will go uh, get it started on the back and tighten it up. I think what I'm gonna do is use the nuts that came with the U-bolts uh, and then put one of the nylon lock nuts on top of that so it'll be double. I had to pull it back off and slot the uh, back holes a little bit. I needed just a little bit of space. And I got the back started. Gonna finish up tightening in the front, get it straight, and then come back and tighten the back. So the back is on the front zone. Hydraulic lines protected with that plate. And uh, let me pull it over in the yard and lift it up and see if we can get a little better view of it. gonna protect the lines or you just want everybody to like and comment and subscribe okay